Hello everyone and welcome back to Mr. Motor Geek. So in this video, we are going to look into detail about the Tata's flagship SUV, the Tata Harrier. And Tata has designed this car in an absolutely phenomenal manner. And no other car in this segment has the rugged and bold stance of this SUV. And also one thing is to be noted that this car uses the same Omega R platform which you can see in the Land Rover Discovery Sport, Range Rover Evoque and the Jaguar E-Pace. And you guys would definitely know about the ruggedness and the build quality of those vehicles. And there's no doubt that you can expect the same levels of the build quality in this Tata Harrier 2. So in order to know a lot more about this car, let's get into the video. So Tata Harrier was first launched on the year 2019 and it came out with a 140 horsepower engine. But with this BS6 update, Tata has given a 170 horsepower cryotic diesel engine. And this particular engine can also be found in the other cars of this segment like the MG Hector and the Jeep Compass. So this car uses a 2 litre multi-jet engine which produces 170 horsepower and this engine is sourced by the Fiat Group. So looking as a whole, this car uses an Omega R platform which is sourced by the Jaguar and Land Rover group. And also this car uses a 6-speed torque converter gearbox which is sourced by the Hyundai group. And the engine happens to be a 170 horsepower cryotic diesel engine which happens to be sourced by the Fiat group. And as said before, this car's looks and design is rugged and aggressive. And in fact, this particular car happens to be one of the best looking vehicles in this segment. And the car's front end design looks very attractive for sure. You get these split type headlamps and currently most of the cars have this similar type of design but still this was one of the first cars to get a split headlamp design. And there's LED DRLs placed right above here and you get projector setup for both low beam and high beam. And right down below there's fog lamps being placed which are halogens and not LEDs. And as a whole, the headlamps on the fog lamps are being fitted on a black panel which as a whole looks really good. And you get this gloss black finished front grille over here with quad shaped holes which looks unique in terms of design. And this blackened out treatment definitely suits this car and the starter logo placed boldly at the center. And the car's front end design looks rugged, bold and aggressive. And this car gets full black color treatment at the lower part in order to reduce the visual bulk of the car. Also it adds to the SUV characteristics. And not only the headlights, even the front grille gets a split type design. And the wheel size of this car happens to be 235-65 R17 inches which is rugged and massive for this car. You get high profile rubbers along with the diamond cut alloy wheel design which looks super cool. And it's definitely one of the best looking alloy wheel designs of this segment. Also, you get ventilated disc brakes at the front and also this car gets black cladding treatment over the wheel arches and also to the full length of the side profile of this car. And this treatment definitely looks rugged and reduces the visual bulk of the car. But it is quite shocking that this car gets only drum brakes at the back and misses on disc brakes. And it is quite surprising that it is one of the basic elements that you would expect from a car which costs around 24 lakhs. So Tata should have given the disc brakes at any cost. And this car gets partial chrome treatment on all four door handles. It has chrome treatment given at the center and body color treatment on the outer part. And even the front door handles remain the same design. But one thing is that this car gets request sensors for passive entry. And the indicators are placed on the side view mirrors which are LEDs. And overall it has been finished on a gloss black color which looks really good. And even the top part of this car has been given a black color of dual tone treatment which definitely suits in this car. And there's Harrier being written right over here on the chrome finish. And this chrome line has been extended all the way up to the front doors giving a premium look. And it is quite surprising that this car misses on roof rails as you would definitely expect from an SUV. But this car gets shark fin antenna which also has been finished on a gloss black color. And usually the fuel tank opening for our Indian cars would be on the left side. But in this car it has been provided on the right side. And this is the overall side profile of the car and very lengthy. In fact this car is the lengthiest in the segment having a 4.6 meters of length. And overall the design remains the same giving a proper SUV look. And the ground clearance of this car happens to be 205mm which is considerably good for a car of this size. And this is the rear end of this car and it looks very good as the same way of how it is on the front. In fact the design looks very bulky and retains the characteristics of an SUV. 
and as said before, it is one of the best looking cars in the segment. And the Centaur does have your batching given on chrome finish, and the tail lights are very sleek with an arrow shaped design with all LED units, which again looks really good. And right over here, there is a gloss black color bar being provided, and it joins both the tail lights. And the reverse parking camera is just placed right above the number plate placement along with two LED lights. And Tata's logo has been placed boldly at the center. And there's reflectors being placed on the lower part on both the sides. And in order to reduce the visual bulk of the car, there's completely black color treatment being provided, which again adds to the characteristics of an SUV. And let's open the boot of the car. And the size of this boot happens to be 425 liters, which is pretty decently sized for a car of this size. And you could definitely fit three to four large suitcases in this area. There's a handle being provided over here. And right over here, there's JBL speakers being fitted on the left side. And there's a light along with the towing hook being placed on the right side. And these are the car's rear seats. And the rear seats are extremely spacious. In fact, when compared to the other cars of the segment like the Compass and the MG Hector, this car is leading in terms of space on offer. And the seats are very comfortable and cushioned with a very good under thigh support and a very good recline angle. In fact, the seats are very comfy and the passengers will not feel any strain while going on long drives. There's a lot of knee room and leg room on offer and even passengers above 6 feet tall would sit very comfortably. And there's a slight hump at the center but still the floor is almost flat and even the center passenger would be able to sit very comfortably. And in fact, the materials used for the seats are very comfortable and cushioned and feels very luxurious. You get these dot type patterns which feels very luxurious and even the stitching pattern has been given on the same brown color and looks really good. And there's two adjustable headrests being provided which should be very comfortable for the passengers but still there's a center headrest being missing in this car. And over here there's a center armrest being provided with twin cup holders on it. And this is the parcel shelf of the car which is vast in size and you can definitely keep a lot of stuff over here. There's magazine holders being provided on both the seats and also it gets partial screwed up seat backs for extra knee room and leg room. And these are the door panels of this car being finished on a dual tone of black and brown color and the quality levels of the materials used feels top notch. There's black treatment given all over and the brown treatment at the center. And you get a brown leather wrapped soft finish over here which feels really good and premium. And over here the door handles are given a chrome finish. And right over here there's a grip handle with a brown leather finish along with a sneaky silver treatment on the outer. And the quality feels premium. The buttons for the window controls are finished on a matte black color which is again good in terms of quality levels. And down below the door pockets of this car is decently sized. You get a split type bottle holder design along with the storage space on top of it. And 1 liter bottles would definitely fit in this door pockets. And one main feature in this car is that this car gets JBL speakers and trust me the audio quality is simply on the next level. And even the design of the front door panels remains the same of what it is on the rear door panels. You get the same type of black and brown treatment along with the leather wrap treatment on the center. But the door pockets are more spacious than the ones on the rear. In fact, you get three slot storage spaces with a tunnel storage space over here. And three large bottles would definitely fit in this door pockets. And this is the dashboard design of the car. And one second to be mentioned that the quality levels of the materials used in the dashboard is top notch and feels way more premium. And I can surely say that the quality levels of the Tata cars are improving day by day. You get quad design AC vents along with the sneaky similar treatment on the outer. And there's a wooden type of treatment given on the center part of the dashboard adding to the rich look of the car and overall the treatment feels way more premium and down below you get a sneaky similar treatment with the bar fitted all over the lower part of the dashboard and it also adds to the aesthetic purposes of the dashboard so overall when all these elements were put together it looks extremely superb in this car and on the center console there's a gloss black treatment along with the silver lining on the outer part and this is the car's 8.8 .8 inch touchscreen infotainment system which is very sleek and smooth to operate. You get a lot of features like Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Radio, USB, Phone Connectivity, Audio Setup, Voice Command and much more. And also there's GPS navigation provided in this system. So overall this system has been loaded with a ton of features which will definitely attract a lot of buyers. And this is the car steering wheel which has been finished on a black color along with a leather wrap finish which looks really good and also feels grippy to hold. Also there's a silver lining treatment given on the center part. And the steering mode controls are provided on both the sides and the buttons have been finished on a matte black color which looks really good. And this is the instrument cluster of the car which looks really good in terms of design. And let's turn on the engine. So the car has been started and as you can see the needle of the speedometer does its full swipe. And on the left there's a digital display being provided and on the right there's an analog speedometer being provided. So the tachometer has been provided on digital along with a multi-information display. And that multi-information display shows quite a lot of information about the car. 
and this car gets three drive modes on offer and the drive mode select பண்றது வந்து ஒரு ரோட்டேட்டிங் சைட் கிர் ரோப கொடுத்திருக்காங்க and one cool feature in the car is a very important feature and in the car la panorama sunroof கொடுத்திருக்காங்க and நல்ல வைட் ஓபன் ஆகி வெளிச்சத்தை நல்லாவே cabin குள்ள உள்ள கொண்டிருக்கு so in the car so the looks this design come for convenience, convenience features all quality ellame rombave impressive ah irukku and ella criteria la make up panumbodhu car design in the car so very big thumbs up for this car so in the car impress on the way eppadi irukendra adha check it nam therinjikalam so guys right now we are driving the tata harrier's automatic variant and the first thing i feel while driving this car is that this car has a humongous road presence and it is definitely a head turner in fact the suspension is so rugged such that you don't even have to slow down on a speed Speed breakers and just take down at the same speed and overall it feels very rugged and gives you a proper SUV feel while driving this car and this car has different drive modes on offer one drive mode happens to be the CD drive CD mode drive which is mode economic activated. brings down a lot of mileage and reduces the power output for better fuel efficiency and as one another mode happens to be the raid mode and raid mode ensures the traction control and stability of the car while going on wet roads it provides maximum stability and traction control in order to prevent wheel spin skidding and losing of traction and the turning radius of this car happens to be 5.7 meters which is quite decent but still on city traffic conditions you need to be careful while taking this u turns and also this car gets reverse parking camera with adaptive guidelines and the quality of the camera is also pretty decent and offers a very good viewing image to the driver and there's one mode which you can see in most of the other cars that happens to be the sport mode So on sport mode this car offers a maximum power output having a great performance and punch on offer and this car so being on the sport mode, mode every time when you accelerate it you get an immediate surge of power with a very good response for the throttle input so the heart of this car happens to be a 170 horsepower 2 liter priority diesel engine which is again sourced by the Fiat group and you can see in most of the other cars like the MG Hector and the Jeep Compass and talking about the transmission this car gets a 6 speed torque converter gearbox which is sourced by the Hyundai group and it is the same transmission unit as you can see in the Hyundai Creta and the gear shifts are quick to an extent and also very responsive on giving throttle inputs and this car feels very good to drive in fact the steering feel and feedback is extremely superb and feels light at low speeds and weighs a brilliant in high speeds and even though it is not the most communicative steering wheel still it offers some amount of feel and feedback to the driver and also in terms of visibility Tata has done a very good job in designing the cabin You don't have any blind spots giving a wide range of view for the driver. And also the suspension in this car has been set up quite well and absorbs all the bumps and potholes and vibrations on our Indian roads. And even though this car happens to be just a front wheel drive unit, believe it or not, this car will definitely perform really good in terms of off-roading. And even the brakes are very sure-footed and they offer great stopping power, but still as mentioned earlier, This car gets disc brakes only on the front wheels and the rear wheels happens to be drum brakes but still it is quite shocking that you would definitely expect such features on a car that costs around 24 lakhs and coming to the chassis part this car gets the same omega arc platform as you can see in most of the jaguar and land rover cars like the discovery sport range rover evoque and the jaguar e pace and as mentioned earlier the build quality of this car is extremely superb and feels very rigid and strong and you can expect the same build quality levels of those cars in this harrier and also the air conditioning works really good and cools down the cabin in just no time and talking about the fuel efficiency it has been claimed that this car returns on a mileage of 15 to 16 km per liter with a tank capacity of 50 liters and it is quite considerable for the size of this car and the city traffic conditions you would get around 12 to 13 km per liter and the highway conditions you will definitely get around 15 to 16 km per liter and talking about the price point of this car the base variant xc trim has an ex showroom price of 13.84 lakhs and it goes all the way up to 20.3 lakhs for the xz a plus dark edition variant and the and the car which you are currently driving now happens to be the xz a plus dual tone variant and that has an ex showroom price around 20.2 lakhs and when compared to the other cars of the segment according to the price point this car has been priced very attractively and almost 4 lakhs cheaper on road when compared to the jeep compass so if you're looking for a rugged and bold suv then the tata harrier is the right option for you so that's all everyone if you like this video you know what to do please make sure to like share comment and subscribe and also don't forget to press the bell button so see you guys in the next video